Sullivan, Randy here, back on the John Deere 2510 uh, tires here again today. And uh, in the last video there, we got the, uh, the first rear tire more or less done. As I mentioned, we broke one of the pieces there uh, putting it on, so I got to get another one of those on order. And of course, it's definitely going to need some uh, touch-up paint as well, because yeah, we definitely scratched that paint up a little bit. Oh boy. Uh, anyway, today's video, we're going to be working on the next rim, and I am not looking forward to this one. Not looking forward to this one at all. Again, these tires are loaded. This tire, however, is leaking, and as you can probably tell, the rim is in far, far, did I mention far? Uh, in far worse shape. Uh, in fact, I'm questioning if this rim is even any good if you look at it here. This is, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad there. So I'm thinking what we'll probably do, we'll get it apart uh, if we can anyway. I'm assuming it'll come apart. And uh, we'll see what we can uh, do with it. Uh, curious too if we can get this one to uh, move on the axle or not. Uh, I forgot to mention that here, uh, last uh, video. Uh, before we put the tire on, we did try to get it to move again. Uh, we put a little more effort into it. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Persuasion is down here. Suffice to say, it's, uh, it's froze up but good, so. Yeah, and I'm fine with that. I don't need to adjust the tires. It'd just be nice if it would, uh, if it move, if we could get it to move. So, you know, everything's not like rusted completely. Not to mention we broke a jack bolt on there and a rear wedge bolt as well. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, oh, speaking of wedge bolt, we did take the, the other side is missing one of its wedge bolts. We actually managed to get it out. There's what it looks like, little focus. That's one of the jack bolts. Again, we broke the other jack bolt. So I'm thinking with this side here, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pull the jack bolts straight out. I think that's a seven ace bolt. So we broke, uh, was that a couple videos back? We broke one of these seven ace bolts. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's uh, I'll take that as an accomplishment, I guess. Uh, so anyway, everyone, let's uh, prop the camera up here. We're gonna, yeah, see what kind of trouble we can get into with this room here. Again, not looking forward to this. Like I said, this one's loaded. This one also, I can't tell if there's an inner tube in this one or not, because this uh, this valve stem looks a bit suspicious. Very suspicious. I would have thought uh, with a loaded rim they'd put an inner tube in it, right? But I'm not I'm not a tire person, so I don't know. Anyway, everyone, let's uh, let's start working on it.
gentlemen, it's the uh, the next uh, day here. We uh, kind of called it quits after uh, getting that off there. We had uh, quite our fill of it, and uh, yeah, had enough. So anyway, next day here, I'm probably just going to combine this up with uh, yesterday's video. I think I don't, we'll just uh, make it all one video. Uh, let's see. So today, we can probably start uh, wire brushing this, and actually might try to get it, see once if we can get it offered to move here or not. I, I don't think we can. Uh, actually, I had really good hopes here when we started taking this apart here. Uh, where are they? Oh, here's the, uh, these are the jack bolts that go on this side. And notice they're, I mean, yeah, they're a little rusty, but they're almost nearly perfect condition uh, compared to the, you know, the, the jack bolt from the other side there. That's just, uh, if it'll focus, I mean, that's just mangled. So yeah, the jack bolts on this side look really nice. So we were hoping, hey, this side might actually go good. Uh, suffice to say, everyone, this side was a nightmare times, yeah, times a couple. Uh, some of these bolts, well, I hope you've seen that in the high speed. I don't know if this is one of them or not. Uh, we beat the living crap. Oh, yeah, here's one. We beat the living crap out of these bolts. Uh, this this is this bolt has not been cut. Well, I guess the top of it may have been ground a little bit. None of these bolts have been cut. This bolt's like, uh, I don't know, it's like an inch shorter than the rest. Um, just, uh, yeah, I think, is this, uh, even this one's been beat on. I don't know if I even have a good one over here. But, uh, yeah, we just way laid on those bolts to uh, get them out of there. I don't know what made them so tight. You know, you would think once they start moving, at that point, the rust bond has been broken. You would think, but, uh, oh, no, no. They had to go hard the entire freaking way. Oh, my goodness. Uh, anyway, this is off. It, uh, I think I mentioned this already. It's ugly. That portion there is ugly. Oh, yeah, you can see that's actually leaking, right? Oh, is it leaking here? Yeah, you can see it's it's dripping on the floor, though. So, yeah, definitely need to do something with that. Uh, probably just going to take it somewhere, I think. We'll find out here. See if we get an estimate, maybe how much it'll cost to empty this uh, thing out. Uh, probably, if the rim is good, take it home, wire brush it, bring it back to them, have them remount it and refill it. And probably just put the, uh, the beet juice in it. I think that's what they do nowadays, is usually the beet juice instead of uh, the calcium chloride. I always forget what it is again. I think it's calcium chloride or something like that they put in there. That just uh, absolutely obliterates those uh, rims and tires and it's just generally not good, not good. So uh, anyway, today here, probably start wire brushing. Uh, I did stop by the, uh, the local John Deere dealer here on the way home. Uh, you folks have a guess how much this box of bolts cost. I'm not gonna tell you this episode, you'll have to guess. Put it down in the comments below. How much do you think this box of bolts cost? We got. We got the bolts here that go, that replace these. These go in the, uh, in these doohickeys here. So I got bolts for those. I've got nuts for them. I've also got uh, two brand new jack bolts. And then I've got uh, two of these things as well uh, to replace the broken one I got on the one side and then I just got an extra just in case. So yeah, you folks guess how much that costs.
Unfortunately, at some point my uh, camera stopped recording here, so I don't know how much of this you got to see, but look at that. One wedge laying on the ground there. Uh, <laughs> quite surprisingly to it, uh, I uh, smacked it with, where did I put my, oh, there it is, down on the floor there. Uh, my drift punch there was whacking it, and all of a sudden, oh, she popped. Uh, yeah, I fell in the oil pan there, it uh, went flying, oh boy. Bit messy, just finished cleaning that up. But yeah, we got, to, got the one wedge out. Uh, you're supposed to actually leave these bolts in a little bit, but I just took them all the way out. So like I said, everything is like as loose as possible. So I'm gonna actually see if this will move or not. Uh, I'm not holding up high hopes here, but it, it's definitely looking better than the other side did. So uh, we'll see once how this goes. <laughs> Three, four in the morning, and then taper off again as we approach. Uh, taking a look at the uh, future cast, we saw the snow showers right here at midnight, but after that, they kind of tend to wind down. We got some the clouds toward daybreak. Uh, during the afternoon, look at how light the wind is. We uh, get up at 60 miles an hour, and that's a good deal. We start the day on Friday with a few storms south of I 94, everybody else dry, skies are bright, cloudy, moisture, dry, rampus.
again, my camera either quit recording or something happened, so we got it moving though. It moves. Doing a bad job of <laughs> recording this, but uh, I got this free. Took the uh, big impact to it. Basically just worked it back and forth a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, till finally now it, it turns. I have brought it all the way out to here, brought it all the way to the end there. Uh, I've wire brushed this rack here a couple times, cleaning it up. Uh, I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull this whole thing off just so we can get in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad in there, so we're gonna see if we can clean that out uh, before I put it all back together. Uh, of course, it's not supposed to do it with that piece out, but again, just took it all the way out so everything's as loose as possible when we do this. Well, everyone, I think I did a bad job of recording what we all uh, did today, or either that my camera did a bad job. I'll have to see once what we actually got here uh, when I go and edit this. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyway, for the last little bit here, worked on uh, sanding this down. I didn't bother recording any of that. Uh, we ended up uh, grabbing it with a tractor here, picked it up, and just pulled it right off here and uh, took the wire wheel to it. Uh, looks like I probably need to do it a little more yet, but... We got it uh, at least uh, somewhat uh, wire brushed. Uh, like I said, it's not perfect yet. Need to go a little more, but uh, did both sides. And then we uh, went ahead and put it back together here. Got the bolts tightened back down. Uh, I did put some grease in here when we slid it on. So uh, it is a little greasy. Clean that off. But uh, yeah, I get pretty close to being ready to paint this piece at least. It's just about done. Uh, the tire, we brought that outside, uh, wire brushed that as well, and uh, well, let's just say it's, it's leaking, so we left it outside. We'll have to, uh, yeah, next video, maybe we'll uh, do some more with it, but uh, it's uh, it's outside at the moment. Like I said, it was it was leaking pretty good when I uh, when I hit it a couple times there with a wire brush. So we'll have to uh, have to deal with that. Uh, still debating how we want to uh, deal with that yet. Uh, uh, just a little bit of wire brush and like I said, we'll have to uh, look at it next video, but a little bit of wire brush and I did, that rim is, yeah, that rim is pretty bad, pretty bad. Also, everyone, don't forget, leave it down in the comments below. How much do you think this box of bolts costs? Uh, again, we got, uh, there's uh, 16 of these bolts for the rims. Got uh, two of these things. These things aren't that expensive, by the way. And then we got uh, two of the jack bolts. Let me know, let me know how expensive you think that is. Leave it down in the uh, comments. Uh, <clears throat> I think you folks will be surprised. Uh, so yeah, anyway, everyone, making progress. Getting there slowly but surely. Kind of the last, I think this is the last major project here. And of course, it's one of the more major ones just because of the shape this rim was in. So yeah, we'll have to see once. That might, uh, this might get expensive here with this side. Anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. Till next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.